Alright, man. These one now. Uh, came on a little. These came on easier than the, um, the, the high top ones. But they still feel tight on there for a second. I'll still say they're true to size, but they still feel tight for a second. And if you got wide, wide feet, I don't know. You have to really, like, weigh that out. I, I consider my feet uh, medium, so maybe you can just take a look and tell from how your feet going to be on there. Now when you start walking, now it's the size as far as the tightness for me. Still a little tight, but I would say my feet look like kind of wide. All right, man, like the phone just fell down, man. Like I was saying, man, putting it on initially, it came on easier than the, the high top ones. But uh, as far as uh, tightness, when you start walking around, this the sides a little bit. My feet look kind of wide, I think, in it. So, you know, you got to measure that out with your feet. Do you want to go half a size up or not? It still fits true to size, but maybe on the wide side, maybe you got to, you might, I don't know. These are the 76s, or night, they just call them the regular, um, Whatever name they call it on it, but they're not calling it with the 76. But when you check another site, they show it 76. So I would say I just double both 76 because they're both the same one. Just high top and low. I don't know why Nike didn't put the 76 on this one. Thing. Actually, when I saw it, somebody else had it 76 X, something like that. These are 70 dollars, and it's kind of part. The high ones are 75. Another shoe that, like I said, I think it's nice. Features leather. The leather is like a B on a scale of A. It's a B. Scale of A being the highest, I give it a B. I give it a B. But for seventy dollars, you can't beat it. Theodora, I say sometimes to me, do the best leather. I was one that one that I saw for the court. She found me for the um, tennis shoes. They had to meet that A leather on those for like 90 the court lows or whatever it was called. I did a video on it. You can look on my video that did one. But uh, these are cool still. I like these also. I think Converse. On West Coast, I think like them. The Mexicans, I think my Mexican brothers, our Mexican brothers be wearing these, I think, a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like them. I think they got kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a high top type person, but you know, if you got the change, 70, 75, so 145, two pair of shoes, I think, I think, that, I think that's fresh. I think that's good. You know what I mean? That's that shit with Dougie would do that dance on you. Alright? That's that famous dance. Like, oh, god damn! Alright, man. It's that shit that Lil Wayne right now do that auto tune to that shit. Lil Wayne, you gotta stop using that auto tune, man. That shit don't sound that great. You don't sound like T Pain. This shit sound a little corny. Alright, man. I'm about to get out of here. With the 76 lows, you can get these at uh, Nightcom. They just gonna say uh, whatever Converse Superstar, whatever they call it, it's just gonna say that the high top gonna say 76. Just put on new, new, uh, new uh, rivals on uh, Converse, and you'll see it. All right, 70 dollars. Peace. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for checking the Black Hippie Show. It's your boy Dreddy Dread, aka Mr. Raffle. I'm mad that y'all didn't get on the raffle with me now, but hopefully sooner or later y'all get with it because I got to start trying to make a money and I got to start trying to make a move. I'm doing a business as a job where you got to put money into it, for me anyway, to try to get my people. And then at the same time, YouTube is going down the tube with far as uh, the advertising. So I picked it at the wrong time. I'm not getting a lot of subs. I'm getting the subs, but I'm not getting a lot at the rate that I wanted it. And, you know, I, I, I think it's got to go up. But in the meanwhile, I want to do these raffles. And like I said, you're getting it for a dollar, two dollars, or stuff like that. 
I don't see how you can beat that. And it's being an honest. And it's just gambling. That's what I like. I like gambling. So, you know, so gambling is a chance. As long as it's your size, I don't see the problem. Everybody do me a favor. Jot down your waist size and your shoe size because I'm going to be doing raffles. And I just want to know those sizes when I try to go get stuff. I'm getting ready to start trying with some different ways now with the high end and cut all this other stuff. Maybe that's, I can probably find a crowd with that, man, because I right now I ain't getting nobody. All right? So I'm getting ready to start doing some new shit. You'll see it next week. Until Well, not next week. Hopefully this week at the end of the week. So, all right? Peace.